In this clip, I'm showing you how we use the remote collar to um, get the dog in a calm state of mind. That way we're able to approach the crate, put the dog on the leash, and then let him out. So you see here, he stood up. At that moment that he stood up, I started applying a few um, stimulations to the dog with the remote collar, and you notice he spun around and then sat and he was calm again. That's how we want the dog to come out the crate every single time. So now what I'm doing, since the dog is calm, I'm gonna put the leash on him. I'm hooking the leash up to a prong collar. He does have the, the remote collar and the prong collar on. And I'm using my body to, to block him from coming out and giving him that slight pull on the leash if I need to, to let him know, yeah, I still want you to be calm. Then I give the okay marker to let the dog know that, hey, you're free to come out. And then we just do some quick drills, telling him to go back in his crate and then um, letting him out again. So the remote collar is going to be the most effective way to get the dog in a calm state of mind when you're taking them in and out of the crate. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the dog out of the crate and get him in a calm state of mind when you do not have a remote collar on him. So he doesn't have a remote collar on him. This is the first time I'm taking him out in the morning, so he's very anxious and excited to come out. So I need to get him in a calm state of mind. So what I do is I'm using a pet condenser, which is just compressed air, and I'm also using a, a rolled up um, t-shirt with rubber bands around it. Um, and then I just spray the pet convincer where I did mess up was I should have had the leash You know more available for me. So I had to bend down in this case I should have had it maybe draped over the, the crate or something like that. So me bending down kind of gave him that excitement um, Maybe he thought I was greeting him or something but um, to avoid that um, I should have corrected him when he did do that um, as you can see here I am attaching the leash to the prong collar. He does have a prong collar on and then once the prong collar is or the leash is attached to the prong collar, I give him a firm correction right there, and you see him calm down a lot more after I give him that correction. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you a method that I use um, to get the dog out the crate and to try to get him, you know, in a calm state of mind um, as best as possible when he doesn't have anything on. So, I mean, he may have a flat buckle. We could we could leave a flat buckle on. But if he doesn't have a prong or if he doesn't have a remote collar, it's going to be hard to, to give that dog a correction. So I'll kind of show you what I do um, to, to help out. So I already have the leash attached to the prong collar, um, you know, where it should be attached right there. So that way I don't have to worry about it. And the first tool that I'm going to put on is going to be the prong collar. So you notice here that I'm approaching the crate very calmly. I'm not making any erratic movements. I'm not talking to the dog. I'm not telling the dog stay. I'm not telling him good boy or anything like that. I'm just being quiet, giving him corrections if he needs it. Um, I'm using my body to block the doorway when I do open the door so the dog can't bolt out. Um, and I'm just waiting until he patiently you know, relaxes and then I'm able to, to put the actual prong collar on. Now you see the dog's in a relaxed state of mind. Now I'm gonna attempt to put the prong collar on and all I'm simply gonna do is just open it up, put it around the dog's neck from under his chin um, and then go over the top of his neck and then clip it in. Um, I'm also, right here, I'm also kinda like grabbing it and pulling the skin um, back. That way I could kinda slide the prong collar up and, and have it high on the dog's neck. And then I give him that Slight information, letting them know, hey, relax, calm down, and then he calms down. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on the um, actual remote collar on the dog. So the dog's in a calm state of mind. I pick up the leash, cause I have it attached to the prong collar, and I just give them that slight information, just that, that reminder, letting them know, hey, I want you to be relaxed as I put the collar on. Um, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take the prong and I'm gonna try to slide it up again, high on the dog's neck, right behind the jawline. Um, I do pull some of the fur like out from under it, that way it makes it a little bit easier to move around. Um, and then I take the, the actual remote collar and I, I buckle it around the dog's neck. 
And then I do the same thing. I kind of pull the hair out to make sure I have good contact. And then that's pretty much it. Okay. So when you take the dog out the crate for the first time in the day, um, that's probably going to be the most um, intense for the dog. That's when the dog's going to be most aroused because he's he went through the night um, and he hasn't really been taken out the crate. So that's going to be the time where you have most trouble um, trying to get the tools on him and, and, and correcting him. So my recommendation was, would be to let the dog sleep with the, um, go through the night with the prong or with the remote collar. That way it's easy to just use the remote um, and then take it off. Once you have him in a place command and the prong collar and the leash is on him, that way if he breaks the place command, you know, you could correct him, put him back on um, while you're charging the remote collar. Um, <clears throat> and then once the, the remote collar is fully charged, you can um, put it back on the dog and just put it on the opposite side that you had it last, that you had it last time. Um, so that's a quick tip. Um, if you look through the videos, you notice that um, we have to we have to calm the dog down. If we do not calm the dog down, that's when the dog's going to start making bad decisions and and get, we're going to get frustrated. So we just want to make it as as methodical as possible, um, and and kind of get a routine. I like to put the equipment on the dog while he's in the crate. I think it's a little bit easier. Um, I try to get the prong collar on first. High, you want the prong collar on high. Um, that way, um, and the leash attached. That way, you know you could you could start giving those corrections and get the dog calm in that way. Um, sometimes the, the the pet convincer and the the bonker work well, but it's more effective if we're able to get the actual prong collar. We're able to get the uh, remote collar on the dog. I hope this video helps you and uh, you understand kind of like the methods that that we use here to to get the dog in a calm state of mind.